You guys, any plan for this weekend or this week? No plans. No plan. Family coming in. But you don't, you don't like her family, right? <laughs> Do they like you? Yes. You sure about that? I like them and they like me. I don't, I'm not that's, sure about that. That's what they say. Yeah, that's what they say. That's not, that's not how they feel. So as far as I know, that's... <laughs> You know, I have something for you for this week so you can escape your family torture. Okay, well, then I need to tell you. I always play really hard because I always. Yeah. No, I was like, you're my class, but I never see it anymore. The discussion. Yeah, yeah we have three sessions in here. Yeah, I was like, this one is already done. Separate, all separate out. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started. Uh, we're going to talk about chapter 11. So that was due last week, but we didn't talk about it. Okay. So we're going to talk about it uh, Now, if you notice the stuff right this week, we only have one discussion for now. Um, that's it. So you can take our time, uh, enjoy a holiday. Right? Uh, but I know many of you guys um, need something to do over the holiday. That you don't understand all the time with your family. So it's all good. So after class day, after class is over, um, I will reopen all the old quizzes. And after every quiz, I'll give you a total of five attempts. Okay. So, so by the time you get tired of the family, you go online. <laughs> well, redo all the quizzes. Now, the same with each quiz, uh, with the five attempts on it, um, 
Every quiz is coming from a very small question bank. Uh, so by the time you take your, your fourth or fifth try, you've seen many of the questions already. You might see all the questions already. So you shouldn't you shouldn't get anything other than 100. Um, so this will do. So you can do this. Um, so once you take your test, I will take your quiz before the last time. Uh, open the quiz. Don't even read it. Submit it right away. You get a zero. So you can see all the values you found. So you know the answer time. Okay. So so try that. So take a take as many attempts as you need, and then get a hundred on every single quiz. So that quiz that quiz rate should help you on the average. And you should you should lose points on it. Because all right. Um, let's talk about chapter eleven. So chapter eleven. Oh, another thing. Um, I was checking on my um on my twenty three oh two class for spring. For spring next year, um, yeah, I have, yeah, I saw it. Um, and you want to tell my class class? <laughs> um, so there is one more class. There's only eighteen people in it, so there's still a rule. So anybody want to register to as soon as possible, because the, the first class is already full. Then class uh, out of all those thirty three room, a uh, thirty three seat, eighteen is already filled, so it's already halfway. Okay? So sign up as soon as possible. All right, um, let's talk about chapter 11. Talk one more thing. Always talking about us. Um, for, for next semester, um, we're going to do the same thing like this next semester. The only difference is for next semester, it will be on um, search day. Search day in the early afternoon, so sometime between 1 to 3 o'clock. Um, I will let you know exactly what the time is going to be, but sometime in that time frame. And then we wouldn't be here anymore, we'll be at a, a test center campus. Of uh, Bowie and then um, University Lake Houston. Lake Houston. Yes. Yeah, it's all here. Lake Houston, and then you turn on to uh, whatever that is. Lecture on yeah. What time did you say? Uh, early afternoon, so somewhere, sometime between 1 to yeah, 4 o'clock. Yes. What if like, I get to request the Oh, that's fine. Yeah. If you can come, come anyway. I don't know the manager's name. Okay. So I will let you guys know exactly what the time and the room numbers will be. But we'll be on search after. All right. So um, all right. Let's go over chapter um, chapter eleven. Oh, I'll do one more thing. Um, <laughs> if you take twenty three oh two, um, at Kingwood, doesn't matter which teacher you're gonna be. If you take twenty three oh two in Kingwood, your first test will be over the same material. As for the two textbooks, um, the first six chapters are all the same. So if you take 0.02 either with me or with anybody else, your first test, you already know everything before. And so this is not another advantage. Take it, take it early. If you take it like a couple of semesters later, you might get it already. You want to still fresh, take it early. So for like the next class, um, do you think we're still getting the book? Like, or is it gonna be the same kind of uh, you don't need up, you don't need the book, you need a book. So buy early. Um the book that we'll be using in the class will be the uh, the base edition. Buy an uh, older edition, so by the seventh, sixth, or fifth, uh, it's way cheaper. And then buy early. Okay. I see last semester somebody bought a book for only eight dollars. <laughs> so, so buy <laughs> buy early. Okay. Buy early. Okay. All right. Um, let's talk about chapter eleven. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about the measuring uh, the cost of living. Um, have you guys heard something called a cola? Have you heard anything about cola? So, a soda, okay, a soda. Right? What else would it mean? <laughs> um, cola stands for cost of living adjustment. And okay, so this is what it says. Um, Tim, I'm gonna hire you um, to take notes for me. Yeah. Um, every class will pay you a uh, hundred dollars. You do it? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's a pretty good deal. I mean, for for like two hours, you're gonna pay hundred dollars. It's fifty dollars per hour. Um, let's do a long term contract. Let's do a 40 year contract. <laughs> so, for the 40 years, every class comes in my, no my notes over here, and I'll pay you $100 per class. Now, in the first couple of years, it's a very good deal. But imagine you're working on your 40s, your 39th year. You're still getting paid only $100 per class. Is it good to do anymore? Is it not good to do anymore? How long are the class? Two hours. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably not anymore, right? Yeah. So, guys, the reason why, because by your 39 or 40s year, that hundred dollars is not worth as much as today anymore. So even though getting paid the same number, but how much you can buy is a little less now. 
So for most of the long-term contract, they have something called a COLA on it. COLA stands for a cost of living adjustment. It's an automatic increase that will increase the contract price based on how much inflation is. So if we have a COLA with this contract, then it's in 40 years, when things is getting paid, if you pay the $100 base and then plus whatever the price increase for the 40 years is. So there'll be an even higher price for it. So COLA stands for cost of living adjustment. Now, today, we're gonna to learn how to manage the cost of living. So how do we manage this cost of living to give you a COLA? And then, <clears throat> once you guys start um, working after college, I want you to pay for a company. Companies every year give you a little raise, like a 1%, 2%. That's not a raise. That's not COLA, a cost of living adjustment. But everything else is more expensive, and your salary is getting little higher. Okay. All right, so um, to measure our cost of living in our economy, we we'll use something called a CPI. So CPI stands for Consumer Price Index. It measures everything consumer purchase in a typical year or a typical month. So CPI stands for Consumer Price Index, and then our COLA is coming from our CPI. And then for many of the retirees, when they get in social security, that every year they see a little bump in their pre-tech, or not the benefit tech, that little bump is because of coal. Because everything else is getting more expensive, that will increase how much we're getting all the benefit for. That's the cola, and cola is based off your CPI. So the CPI. Very good. So CPI is your consumer price index. It will tell you how much your inflation is today. Your PPI is a producer price index. It will tell you how much your future inflation is. And the reason why that is, because if your producers are paying a higher price for whatever they produce, when they produce it, when they charge the price for you, they'll be charging a higher price for it. So the CPI is very good for your current inflation. Uh, PPI is good for your future inflation. Any idea what's a TPI? Mm -hmm. What's a TPI? The CPI is consumer price index. PPI is producer price index. What is TPI? Total. Total price index. Yeah. You know it or just made it up? Huh? Do you know this or you just made it up? I use logic. Logic, okay. Uh, I made it up. There, there's no CPI. <laughs> there's no, so only a CPI and a PPI. Yeah, there's no CPI. So, so consumer price index and then producer price index. Exactly. Everybody got it? Yeah. All right, so to, to find CPI, uh, there are five steps. So first step, we're looking for the difference in the price chain. First, we're going to have a basket. So it's like when you go shopping for groceries every month, every week, you have your basket. So maybe like one carton of milk, one carton of eggs, and then different bread. So whatever you put in a basket, we're gonna fix the basket. So when you compare how much your total cost is between week to week, then your basket must be the same. So first we'll find our basket, and then second, we're gonna find out how much how much the price is on. So find out the price of each item that is in your basket. So for, for our typical consumers, Guys, we just spend money on every month. Yeah. Yes. yes. That was insurance. Insurance. <laughs> insurance for the car. What else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. like every week. That's like every day. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else? Electricity. Electricity. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, water. Yeah. Water. Uh, you think what else? Um, Maybe like one important like formula. Electricity. Formula, but that's not enough. Something that's. Uh, uh, anyone like, think? Uh, one thing, um, okay. you don't buy taxes, you pay taxes. Okay. What do you buy? What do you buy? Oh. What do you buy? Oh. The you biggest buy? purchase for every household. What? Mortgage, no. Yeah, mortgage. Housing. Yeah. Housing. So you're no. paying for the mortgage or paying for the rent, that's also part of the spending. Okay, so for our total consumer spending here, everything you spend money on, everything you buy, so your housing, your transportation, your medical service, your food, that's all part of this basket. Okay. So next, find out what the price is for each item in the basket, and then search that. We'll be computing the basket cost. Um, on your quiz, on your homework, on the test, I will give you the first two steps. So I'll give you how much is the call, uh, how much is the basket, uh, what is the basket? I'll give you how much is the price for each item in the basket, 
and then your first step is starting from step three. Find out what is the basket cost. So to find the basket cost is very simple. Just take out how much the price of each item is, and how much the quantity for the basket, and that's your total cost basket. So suppose that for our basket here, uh, we have our basket is two bottle of water, and each bottle of water is five dollars, then total cost of basket ten dollars. If your price times quantity, you can add up every sum together, it's a cost of basket. And then the next step is to choose a base year, choose any year as a base year, and then to compute your CPI. So CPI in the formula is going to take the basket value in your current year divided by the basket value in your base year. So whichever year the base year, they'll be the same for all the different years. So take your um, current year basket value divided by base year basket value times 100, and this formula here, that's your CPI. Current year divided by base year times 100, that's CPI. Did you guys finish your copy down and stuff, Kasi? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so the, the it's pretty simple. Right? That was okay. Oh, you got on it? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it shouldn't be like that. <laughs> Don't worry if you find out all that. <laughs> all right, and then last step. Last step for you. Uh, now, the whole reason why we need to find CPI is to find out how much price change. So, find inflation. The so CPI is to find inflation. So, doing inflation. We're going to take your CPI. Yeah, that's right. So remember the new minus old divided by old? Same yeah. formula. So CPI for this year minus CPI for last year divided by CPI for last year times 100%. That will be your inflation rate. So it's always a percentage. Okay. So CPI for this year minus CPI for last year and divided by CPI for last year times 100%. And that's your inflation rate. So five steps. But for you guys, it's actually three steps. Okay. So I'll give you how much the basket is. I give you the price for each item, and then your first step, find out how much is the cost of basket, and then second step, find out the CPI. So use a basket in current year, you have a basket in your base year times 100, that's your CPI. And then last step, use your CPI for this year, and the CPI for last year, you have a CPI for last year times 100%, and that's an inflation. There we go. Okay, so let's do an example. All right, so for our basket here, we're gonna have four pizza and 10 latte. And then for the prices, so different, different, different prices. Um, we have price for latte and price for pizza. So guys, on your paper, do this. First, find out what is the cost of basket in 2010. So for the four pizza, 10 latte, how much will it cost you 2010? And then once you finish, do the same thing for 2011 and 2012. The basket for 2011 and the basket for 2012.
Oh, guys, for for this quick discussion, um, you don't have to do a certain words. You can just do as much as you need. It's a straight for yeah. All right, so for 2010, we're going to do 10 times 4, okay, plus 2 times 10, so it should be 60, that's a 2010, and then 2011, we're going to do 11 times 4, plus 2, 15 times 10, how much this one? Okay. And then 2012, uh, this will be 12 times 4 plus 3 times 10. How much is it? Okay. All right, so that's your three year basket cost. So that's your first step. Next step, all right, stand up with a CPI for 2010. I got the CPI for 2010. Are you using 20 times the ratio? Um, sure. Okay. Copy. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it the base This is good. Very good, so be careful. Guys, hear the same. What is it? So guys, on the on the test, be very careful. So it would tell you which year is the base year. Yeah. If you get a wrong base year, then it will be all different. Okay. So uh, for this one, let's suppose 2010 uh, is going to be our base year. The 2010 base year. I know CPI for 2010. Then CPI for 2011. CPI for 20. Don't forget to times 100 for CPI. Once you do the fraction, also times 100. Oh, I got my iPhone X or iPhone 10. It's not in version. <laughs> no, it's just the thing with it, the whole bottle. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, it's weird. You have to swipe up. Yeah, you gotta do everything this time. Like how you know how, how you, you can like switch you supposed to you can switch apps like that would happen? This thing you could you could pull the app up and then and then switch the sideways. It's everything you break for that one bottle. So if you guys want to buy one for me, I can tell you more about it. Uh do a trade three videos. Uh, what is that? Iphone 7 plus. You want to pay the taxi for Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, give me your iPhone 7. Yeah. Um, pay $2,000. <laughs> 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 That's fine. Oh, I'll probably get the iPhone 8 just because I want the dog. The, the, the dog. Oh, the dog. The dog. The, 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 the dog charging. You just <laughs> it. Yeah. That's the best thing you can That's that really the, the whole. No, no one really bothers me. Yeah. But um, the, the, the thing is, for, uh, the face recognition is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because every time, uh, you know how on the old iPhone, on the old phone, every time you send you a message, once you press on the phone, you can see what the message is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, with the new iPhone X, um, when you look at it, the iPhone will recognize you as the person and then will show you the message. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Yeah, if it's a different person, it will just show you like a notification. Oh. But don't tell me what it is. And then it won't unlock if you have your eyes closed either. Did you know that? I don't know. If you, if you, if you have, because my friend just got it too. Uh -huh. He got it early. Yeah. And it was supposed to be getting your descendant. Okay. Yeah. Or a week ago. If you have it up to your face and you have your eyes closed, it won't unlock. <laughs> so if, you, if you're asleep, you're not getting Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. Did you guys hear what happened on a flight from uh, Turkey or New York? Uh, this lady, uh, she was flying with her husband. And her husband falls asleep. 
So, um, so she got hold of his iPhone, oh, like her old yeah. iPhone, like a seven or a six, and, he put, and, and she put his thumb on it and opened his phone and then checked off her message, all his message, you, you and know. then found out it was cheating. And then, yeah, and then, and then, and then what, what, what happened? What was even worse? That on the plane they were fighting. They got so bad they had to stop the plane and drop them off. And then she got sick for their uh, arrest. Yeah, they had a different. I think she was replaced by a new version. <laughs> All right, um, everybody got CPI for 2010? Um, 100. Right, so I'm going to do 60 over 60 times 100, so it's 100. All right now, what's the CPI for 2011? How much? So 69 over 60 times 100 is 115, and then 2012? 130, 130, so 78 over 60 times 100 is 130. All right, so the last step we're going to do is going to find out how much the inflation is. Now, inflation is always between two years, so which means we cannot find inflation for 2010 because we don't know what 2009 is. So we can only do inflation between 2010 and 2011, and then 2011 and 2012. So for the first one is the inflation. For 2011, then do CPI for 2011 minus CPI for 2010, then divided by CPI for 2010 times 100%. In this case, we're going to use 115 minus 100 divided by 100 times 100%. This is a percent inflation. So it's mean minus O divided by O. Okay, so once you finish, find out some inflation for 20 top. Thank <laughs> you. So that was the requirement. It says every time you solve a problem uh, when you off on the paper, always start writing like salt. Mm -hmm. and then so I'll uh, better write the word salt and then make it make it write it on the problem. Oh. <laughs> All right, so everybody got it? <laughs> yeah, so 130 oh. minus 150 or 150 times 100 and it give you 30 percent. Yeah. Um, but you know what I did when I was writing with this 1,000 salt? Uh, I was using two pencil in the same hand. So when I write it, I write it much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. So that's how you find inflation, CPI, and everything else. Okay, so on your quiz, on your test, you will see questions like this. I'll give you a table and ask you to find out how much the class value 
how much is CPI and how much inflation. Okay, so we should know the steps. All right, uh, let's continue. All right, now just know the biggest item for spending on CPI is housing. The so home is the most expensive spending on, on, on consumers. And then you have your uh, food and beverage is 50%, transportation 70%. Now this is for the entire nation. It doesn't mean everybody has the same spending percentage. So it depends on where you are. So in Texas, in Texas, we probably have a, a smaller share of the housing, but have a bigger share of transportation. Okay. But if you look at people in uh, San Francisco or New York, then they will have a, a smaller share of transportation, but a huge share of housing. If that's what we are, this percentage is different. But the biggest one for anybody is housing. Um, let's get this around the point. All right, so there are some problems with CPI. Uh, the first problem is it's called a substitution bias. If you compare the composition of CPI compared to how much we do, remember we do the GDP deflated for chapter 10. Uh, for GDP deflated for chapter 10, your, your price never changes. Only thing changes is the quantity. But for CPI, your quantity never changes, and the only thing changes is our price. And then because this quantity never changes, that's a problem for CPI. So the first problem of that, we call it substitution bias. When the price change, consumers will change behavior. So imagine today, imagine, um, imagine today the price for turkey. Now, how much turkey today you sell in the store? Mm -hmm. Forty dollars for turkey. Well, it depends on all the people who are How much? Sixty, seventy. Depending on where you get it. Yeah, sure. For a whole turkey. Yeah, for a young mm -hmm. one. What is, what is this kind of turkey? Yeah, what are you buying? I don't buy turkey. Okay. Okay. I don't okay. buy it. I just eat it. But I've seen prices like that. They go by the pound. Yeah, they go by the pound. Let me look at H&E. Yeah, look at H&E. H&E is selling what, like 39 cents per pound or 40 cents per pound? Yeah, because one thing before we just had some giving in this turkey called like 40 bucks. That was a hundred ounces. You go to wing stuff, it's even more. Yeah, that's it. Hey, it's not turkey anymore. Um, fried turkey. I remember a long time ago, and many, many years ago, uh, I remember what I was going to HTTP buying turkey. It's like a, um, how much is it? It's like a nine cents per pound. Yeah, what? so nine cents per pound. So wow. you pay like a three, four dollar for a whole turkey. Like a frozen turkey. It's not a dollar, yeah. but still very right? cheap. I don't know why you guys think that. So the average price is 23 or four in okay. America. Okay, all right. So, so Bobby, let's imagine the price for turkey changes. Um, so right now it's twenty three dollars for turkey. Let's suppose tomorrow the price become two hundred thirty dollars for turkey. Hmm. Now would you still buy the same amount of turkey? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or buy chicken by stock, right? To replace a turkey. So when the price change, our consumer change behavior. But CPI doesn't make sense. CPI says even though the price for turkey is at two hundred thirty dollars, our consumer will buy the same amount of turkey as before. That's not right. right? That's called subsequent bias. Mm -hmm. So when that happens. More than likely, your CPI will overestate how much inflation is. That's what comes from the change behavior. You don't stand that sign compared to before. But CPI says, no, 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 you're going to buy the same amount of goods before, you're going to be spending even more money than, than before. So CPI is overestating how much our inflation is. I mean, is there anything you guys buy um, before, but you don't buy many more for the price you buy? You have to buy something, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's it, just yes. Yeah. Okay. You, you know what, next time when you, when you have a, your, your, your paycheck to this, direct deposit to Chevron. That's, that's much easier. <laughs> you know, my wife, her, her paycheck is a site direct deposit to Valeria. That every, every <laughs> time, yeah, every, so she, so, so for her, once she get her paycheck, she won't even see her paycheck um, because the money is already all there. She already spent it on the party card. So when the, when the paycheck comes in, she's paid for party card. Yeah, that's how I am right now, too. Yeah. Uh, and then I do bottom of the party today. Okay. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. you're not, you're not married. Are you married? No. No. So you gotta change this. It's yeah, especially. Yeah. No, if, yeah, if you if you have <laughs> if you're not married yet, you're like this, once, once you get married, you don't worry. So, mm -hmm. so, because right now, you, you just buy yourself. 
Yeah, once you get married, then remember, she is always watching you. Yeah, you're right. Oh my god. I'm gonna speak the truth. Yeah, um, <laughs> guys, don't get married. It's a cop. I'm already, I'm already <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she was actually better than me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, the next problem for CPI is called introduction of new goods. Um, so again, it goes back to this fixed quality, fixed basket. Because your basket never changed, then anything happened to the economy, your basket couldn't respond to it. So let's suppose this. If I ask you guys, um, I want you to compare the cost of music today um, to the cost of music back in 1997. Which year has a lower cost on buying music? Why? Yeah. Well, let's think about how do you buy music in 1997. Oh, so it's a store you buy the CD, right? Yeah. How do you buy music today? Uh, yeah. iTunes, right? Download it, that costs one dollar per song. So, so subscription is even cheaper. So back in 1997, we don't have this downloading from iPhone. So this is a new service we have. So if we compare what the cost of this service to back then when we don't have the service at all, we cannot compare this. So that's why anytime you have a new good introduced economy, CPI cannot capture it. But you guys do take the basket from the old, old years. Now, that's why when you compare different CPIs, it's always a good idea don't go back too far. Because you go back too far, you, can, you cannot compare anymore. Okay? Because you don't have to do anymore. So imagine um, um, back in the old days, people still go to, uh, there's, there's a company called Brock Foster. Oh, you go back oh, to, oh, there to, to rent the VHS, yeah. right? VHS, and then you, yeah. you, you can rent it and then charge it per day. And then you, once you return the VHS, you're supposed okay. to rewind it if you don't try to rewind anything. Now, if you compare that cost today, we don't have that anymore. Right? Okay. So you can compare it. Okay. All right. I still got some box for the VHS, you know, that might be the thing. I have like more than 20 of them. Uh -huh. cool. um, do you guys know that the, that company still around? Yeah, it is on. Really? Yeah, so this, so this, this will happen. So, um, so that was a that was a big company, but um, many many of the stores, um, when the company was closing, they sold the store to the individual store owners. So if you're only if you, if you if you want to at the time when the company was going through bankruptcy, you can buy the store in your town. So there were there were six stores that were purchased by somebody individually, and then those six stores are still taking the name Blockbuster, and then three of them are coming in in Alaska. <laughs> so this is the other, it's the other. Okay. Um, now, what are they going to do whenever like, you know, they only have like, what, like less than six hours of daylight in the day? Yeah, they have nothing to do. Right? Yeah. The internet's not as big all over there. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know what they have a chance. Chance. They have a chance to buy Netflix to be past them. Yeah, they have to have it. So, so I watch football on Netflix. Oh. It's, like like a, it's like Yahoo. Yahoo had a chance to buy Google to be past it. Mm. All right, and the next is called a unmeasured quality change. Now again, this goes back to the same basket, right? same quality. The stuff never changes, but stuff do change. Um, anybody here drive a car that's older than two thousand? Mine is two thousand. There's two thousand. What car is it? Uh, expedition. Expedition. What color? Silver. Silver. Mm -hmm. Guys, if I ever give you a problem, I got a silver expedition for thousand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me ask you. Does your car has a GPS in it? No, it does not. Does it have a, a, a tape? Tape? Oh, that's old school. Does it have a CD? Six disc changer. Six six. Wow, that's that's fancy. That's fancy. <laughs> yeah. um, does it have a a, a backup camera? No, it does no. not. Um, does it have a, a ABS brakes? It says it does, but I don't think it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> you, you can always try it. <laughs> so, so if you buy a new car today, if you can buy the Expedition today, it will come with the GPS, it will come with backup camera, come with uh, the the um, ABS brakes. So you're getting more stuff in the car, right? But so supposedly you're getting more stuff in the car, you're gonna pay a higher price for the car. But our but our CPI doesn't care. So guys, says you're buying a new car at a higher price. That's inflation. But in reality, we're buying a better car for it. So anytime you have this unmeasured quality change in your goods, CPI will overstate how much it is. So they don't care about how much you get in a better car, all they care about is that you'll pay a higher price for our car. Okay. 
um, when I was in college, I was driving a diploma. Um, like a, not, not those B60, it was a, it was a B4 diploma. diploma. Yeah, those, 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 those lower one. Um, and then I hated the truck. Why? I don't like it. Um, let me tell you why. So, so you I had a Camry. Camry even said more guys. Exactly. So, so this is what happened. Um, so I had a Camry, and then my dad bought his truck for himself. And then, um, you know how people always say that Chinese people are bad drivers? <laughs> so, so this is what happened to him. So the first year, when I was driving his pickup, he got into five accidents in one year. Now, three were his fault, two were something else, but still five accidents. And I had a three car with him. So I was driving his truck, and then he was driving my Camry. Now, um, when I was driving his truck, um, so when he bought the truck, he paid the, he paid the bare minimum. He didn't want anything in the truck. So that truck doesn't have power seat, doesn't have cruise control. You know how the cruise control button is going to have it? Um, it doesn't even have power window. So oh, yeah. you're going to know it, you're going to know it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there, there, was, there was one time um, I was stopped at a traffic light. And then the car, the car to my right, uh, I think they do it on the, on the window, they don't ask me for direction. Um, <laughs> I just ignored it. Because if I if I had answered, I had to reach over to my other side and open the window. I can't do that. Right? It's too far. I just ignored it. Okay. Um, so so what I did back in those days, I was going to UH, and then um, I was hoping somebody was still my car. So this is what I do. So so I'll park. You know how UH, UH Central Campus is right next door to the work. It's just pretty bad neighborhood. Yeah. So what I would do, I will park my car really close to the work. <laughs> and all the time work, okay? And I will purposely remember this car is not power locked, it's, it's many locked. So I will purposely leave the lock open. And then I wouldn't come back to my truck until we got 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. When I come to my truck, like the whole parking lot is empty. Only my truck is always there. <laughs> Nobody wanted to. <laughs> so, so if you buy a truck today, you wouldn't have this low down window anymore. You have a power window, you have power lock, right? So you're getting a better car. So the price would be higher. But our CPI says, no, 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 no. CPI says, that is inflation. But that's not inflation, that's what buying a better car for it. Makes sense? So it's through power for CPI. Okay. All right, um, let's get this. Not important. All right, so one more thing we can do. We can compare uh, different values in different time frames. So uh, for example, the, our minimum wage in 1963 was $1.25, and the minimum wage in 2013 is $7.25. Which one is higher? It's an easy question, right? <laughs> yeah, duh, right? $7.25 and $1.25. Of course, this is higher. There you go, somewhere, right? So, so even though that this 725 is higher in dollar amount, but can you buy more stuff with 725? Mm -hmm. So let me show you a formula for this calculation. So for this calculation, by the way, um, the formula in the book is a little different. So you might want to write down this one. This is a little better than the one in the book. Okay. So we're gonna do the dollar value in year Y. Divided by CPI in year Y equals to dollar value in year X divided by CPI in year X. So, so two fractions and then we'll do cross multiply. Okay. So dollar amount in year Y divided by CPI in year Y and then equals to dollar amount in year X divided by CPI in year X. So make sure make sure you keep the years consistent. So on the left side it's the same year. And on the right side is same year. So don't ever get a year's confused. The same year over here, same year over here. Okay. So dollar amount in year Y over CPI for year Y and dollar amount in year X over CPI for year X. Everybody got it? Yeah. All right. So let's suppose 
Where's the gas? The CPI for point for this is 1963. So CPI for 1963 is 30.9, and then CPI for 2013 is only 234.6. So let's point numbers. Okay, so let's suppose we take our dollar 25 in 1963, we're going to inflate it into 2013, see how much it is. So we'll do dollar 25 divided by CPI for, for, for 1963, which is 30.9. Equals to, uh, we're gonna do. Let's put in x. We're looking for this variable, and divided by the CPI for 2013, so 234.6. So this is set up. Okay, so the, the dollar value in 1963 over CPI for 1963 equals to this x amount. We're looking for this number divided by the CPI for 2013. So guys, solve for x. See how much x is. So always keep the two numbers consistent, okay? Oh, guys, I forgot to mention. Um, so the week after holiday, so next week, uh, we don't have meeting next week. I have to go to uh, meeting at school. So we don't have class next week. Mm -hmm. But what I will do uh, mm -hmm. in the next week, we'll cover the chapters on uh, unemployment. I will post the videos on it. And when you guys watch the videos online, make sure you have a comment at the end, with a name and a class number, I'll get the extra points on the test. It won't be at the time of the class. We'll be open the entire okay. uh, we'll, be, we'll be on YouTube. So this is done. Yeah. Everybody got it? Almost. So guys, what is X? Nine point four nine. Right. So that means your dollar twenty five in nineteen fifty three is equivalent to nine point four nine in twenty thirteen number. So which means the current seven twenty five minimum wage, which is like four years from twenty thirteen, is even lower than what it was before. So the current minimum wage is less than how much it was in nineteen fifty three. Make sense. I can do the same thing, flip over, okay? So let's suppose we're gonna take our 725 and then deflate into 1963. So find out how much this is. Oh, 
Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, so, what's the answer for over here? Zero point what? Zero point nine five. Now, so which means your seven twenty five is only equivalent to ninety five cents in nineteen sixty three. By nineteen sixty three, our minimum wage was a dollar twenty five. So, either way you look at it, the our minimum wage of seven twenty five is lower than what it was back in nineteen sixty three. Okay. So it took um, that was back in twenty thirteen. In 2017 today, um, the 725 is even lower today. So that's why many people have, have been asking for a higher minimum wage. And then if you look at different areas of the country, uh, Seattle already has $15 per hour minimum wage. New York is standing there. Uh, San Francisco has already had it. Uh, LA is standing there too. So different areas of the country that are increasing the minimum wage even lower. So 725 is low. Okay. All right. Any questions? No? Um, I think we're almost finished. All right, so know the difference between a nominal interest rate and a real interest rate. Uh, one formula, okay. So guys, imagine uh, imagine your local bank, let's say Bank of America. Bank of America says, if you deposit money with Bank of America, they will pay you a 10% interest rate. Did you do it? Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. So under what condition you want to do it? They gave you, they gave you ten percent rate. Yeah, well, the only the only way I would put money in the bank is they gave it. They gave it to you. Okay, well, I'll put money in. Always, always, always. No other condition. Well, wait, if they're paying me, if I'm putting a hundred dollars, so you're putting a hundred dollars, but I need to pay you one ten, ten percent interest. Yeah, you do it regardless of what whatever happens. Can you pull it out? Try it out. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Well, is it my money secure? It's secure. It's secure. But you do it for sure. There's no reason why you wouldn't do this. I feel like there's a catch. <laughs> there is a catch. What is the catch? What is the catch? Well, they're not. Wait. What is it? They give you, they give you ten percent. Okay. They give you ten percent. Wait, I'm trying to see. How to go from so short to complete now? Um. So <laughs> you, <laughs> I think I have something to do with it. Um. So you deposit hundred dollars. Yeah. Um. They will for sure give you ten percent more at the end of the year. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. For sure you do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's no reason why why you want to do this. No? What if you don't have the eleven dollars in the pocket? <laughs> one dollar. Okay. <laughs> yeah. One dollar minimum deposit. You will do it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And no reason why you want to do this. Well, what is it? It's it's ten percent fixed. Doesn't change. You always do this. Okay. Well, well, I'll probably like look at you. No, they're paying you for having money in there. Yeah. Give you ten percent more. It's the same thing with, with like pretty Yeah, they pay with 10% more, so you would do this all the time. Like, there's no reason why you don't want to do this. Well, you have nothing to do with this. Yeah, yeah, nothing to do with this. I don't know, unless the bank goes out of this. Oh, bank is always there. Okay, then we're sure. Well, unless, <laughs> sure. well, unless <laughs> a different bank has a higher interest. Uh, the 10% bank amount is the highest. The highest one? Okay, yeah. I'll put money in there. You guys all do it? Yeah. And there's no reason why you don't want to do this. At the end of the year, I'm going to pop it. They can profit. Yeah. So like it counts for like inflation rate. Yeah. Ah. The cost of living gets higher. Inflation rate, right? Imagine this. Imagine your money in the bank is increasing by ten percent. Yeah. Inflation, the price of everything, is increasing by a hundred percent. 
So by the end of the year, once you get your money out, you're gonna have more money, more in dollar, so you can buy less stuff yeah. because price increasing faster. So the difference between your real interest rate and then your nominal interest rate. Your nominal interest rate is the interest rate the bank pays you. So that 10% rate the bank pays you, that's your nominal interest rate. Your real interest rate is your real profit. It's how much more stuff you can buy. So that'll be your nominal interest rate minus the inflation, that'll be your real interest rate. Okay, so the real interest rate is how much stuff you can buy. Use your nominal interest rate, subtract the inflation, that'll be your real interest rate. Have we got it? Did we, did we ever talk about why they want to increase the minimum wage? No, because it's not equivalent to. Uh, there is one keyword I, I want you guys to remember this. It's not on your test, it's not on your homework, but it's something nice to know. Okay. So this keyword. What is it? Um, consider like a wall, like probably. One of the first meetings. Uh huh. What did I say? Oh, uh, it was like a. Yeah. I mean, it was a Latin word, right? No, not that. No, no, not that. Not such a service. Not such a service. Uh. Oh, no, oh, never mind. It's called living wage. Uh, the current minimum wage is not a living wage. Now let's do an example, guys. Uh, so any idea how much it costs you to get an apartment, like one bedroom, like in in a Kingwood area? Uh, like, like 800? 800? 800, 900. That's pretty expensive. Yeah. Let's, let's find something cheaper, right? Okay, something cheaper, 650. 650? Or let's yeah. do 700? Let's try. 650, yeah. Oh, 650. All right, so rent? 650. All right, so what else do you need to pay money for every month? Water, electricity. Uh, electricity. Electricity, so utility. How much will you every month? Uh, well, let's say the like insurance. Well, let's do that. You see 30? Oh, 30 for electricity. Oh, okay. for electricity. Uh, 100. 100, right? It depends on which month it is. Uh, in the summertime, it can be very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that insurance? Car insurance? Oh, really How much per month? Liability. Liability. 40. 40. 50. Okay. Um, do you guys have a, anybody here have a dash cam in your car? You do? Uh, it's always good idea to put a dash cam in your car. Um, so I did it for my father's car. He got into an accident a couple, well, last month. And then, what is it? Another one? Yeah, another one, yeah. <laughs> but, um, so, 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 you guys want to see it? Sure. sure. Was it bad? Um, the car is full. Oh, okay. oh wow! Yeah, but he's okay. He's okay. It's all there. Yes, on YouTube. <laughs> but it's because the insurance asked me to put on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Um, let me try to print date. Uh oh, the date did I put out. Let's let me check on something. Yeah. Oh, here we go. It's a, it's a new dash cam, so it has two cameras. Oh, awesome. That's, That's, That's my dad. Yeah. Uh, let me show you the part with the accident. Wait, he was recording himself? It's always oh, recording. Dash Whenever dash the car is moving, yeah. it's recording. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's why you should have dash, dash cam. So yeah. every time I get an accident, you have evidence to see what happens. All right, so, so hey, so you stop at an intersection, right? And then see how the light is red right now? And then it will change.
the light change green. Yeah. See, see this white car over here? So yeah. my dad was going straight, right? But this white car actually blocked this way. So he couldn't go straight anymore. So he had to stop uh, and then for the white car to back up. The white car back up and the black car back up. And then, so he was going straight, but at this time the light just changed to red. So when he's going to the last lane, he was going straight, going through and then, yeah. One more time. But if the black car saw that you yeah. would be why would you go coming. if you, that makes no sense. The black car backed up for the yeah. minute. No, 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 it's not, it's not the black car didn't go. It's the car in the next lane. Oh, yeah, so, oh that explains. Oh, this guy see the car, see this, there's a white car over here. I think it might be that car. Yeah, that car. No, no, it's not that car. No, it's not. Yeah, so that car, which, so there's a, like a four lanes, one lane for the left turn and a three lane going straight. So the white car is on the first lane, black car in the middle lane, and there's one more lane to the very far away. That lane is currently empty, and you can't even see the other car right now. So whoever that car is was traveling very fast. Um, but they had a green light, because at this point, when my father, when my father was pulling forward, um, the light just changed from red. So that's oh, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. yellow now, right? And then because right, because they blocked it. Blocked it. Yeah. So and then, the right right I mean, he had it right away. But the problem is, see, oh, see the light changed to red now? Yeah. So at this point, the okay. insurance says, they said that okay. my father should yell to yeah. other traffic. Yeah. Because when the light turned red, the, the other direction already turned yellow. So they had it right away. Um, but even though my father, you know, it was, it's not his fault, but he should still yell to the other traffic. So, so like, but how can you see he's above like yeah, the you lights can, above him already? Exactly, you can't even see it. But but uh so I asked the adjuster, you know, if you can't even see it, so how do we decide this? And the adjuster says that every for every accident, there's always somebody at fault. In this case, the other party had the green light, they are, they are no fault at all. The only fault there is is on my father's side. So even with this, that we're still responsible for the for the for the after the accident. Like see the see the black car pull back, okay. oh. and then there's one more lane, and then there's a car coming from. Oh, okay. see that? Oh, yeah. yeah, there's another car coming from other lane. Wow, you could, I guess you didn't see. You can't, you can't even see it because yeah. the other car already broke away. Exactly. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So I got in an accident like that too, That's where cool. I was pulling in front of a whole bunch of cars. It was at night, so uh -huh. like some of these guys had their highlights on. I couldn't see. Yeah, I can't even see it. Yeah. Yeah, and so I pull forward, and there's this little Toyota Corolla coming down the road with. Very dim lights. Uh -huh. I could not see that. He beat me in the back. It was my fault because okay. I didn't see him. But his yeah. car was. But uh, but one good thing happened from this um, because of dash cam. So um, the uh, they called the they called the HPD uh, and then they, they issued my father a traffic ticket for running a red light. But we have this video. We can prove that it wasn't red light. It was a green light. Okay, that's, so guys, always have a dash cam in your car. Okay, so you never know. Um, do you guys know why, where the dash can come, come from? Like, why are there so many people in the dash can? Yeah, yeah. Russia. In yeah. Russia, oh, right, Russia yeah. in Russia, they require every car to have a dash can. So if you if you have car insurance, you must have dash can in your car. So um, and that's the thing with Russia. A uh, couple of factors. So first, in Russia, there are many many bad cars on the road because it's a very it's not it's not it's not a rich country. It's a pretty poor country. Second, because the weather they have very bad weather condition. Third, uh, road condition is very bad, and last one, very a lot, a lot more bad drivers than over here. So all four conditions. If you guys go online, go to YouTube, uh, search for you know accidents. Man, most of them are coming from Russia. Okay, coming from Russia. But um, but another thing, like in China, in China people prefer to have dash cam on the car too, uh, to avoid any type of diabetes. Um, so I saw this one one video. Um, so they captured this. Um, now imagine, imagine you're driving your car, and then you come to a complete stop at the traffic light. So your car is already stopped. And then I'm a pedestrian. I walk toward the front of your car. I turn back, and then this is your hood, right? And I will bend my head on the hood. And I will lay on the ground and say, oh, you're coming. Unless you have a dash cam, you cannot pull anything. Mm -hmm. Except you can also have a dash cam in China. Yeah, so I have a dash cam. It's not expensive. And the one I bought for, for my dad is only like a $55, $60. It's saved a lot of trouble. So buy dash cam. All right. Uh, let me see what else I'm going to talk about before I finish. Oh, just go to Amazon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, like, happens. Can capture both of you.
forty nine dollars. Yeah, and they just put the right here. Um, like clip or something. Well, like no, the it's a, it's a windshield. Like a, uh, no, yeah, the windshield, windshield. Yeah, they have like a suction hook. You, you see those uh, those uh, holder for the um the for the phone. Oh, yeah. Same holder. Okay. okay. Holder to the dash cam. Uh, the, no, no, the holder to the windshield, and they see everything. Yeah, I, I put mine like right under my rear view mirror. Yeah. It so it wouldn't bother you. Yeah. Yeah, get one. Make sure get one. Okay. And then you never know. You can always capture some accidents on your car, uh, on, your, on your dash cam. I did it twice. I saw it twice. Uh, it's on my dash cam. Yeah. Um, uh, can skip this. All right, guys. So that's it for this chapter. Any questions? No. Pretty simple. All right. So guys, remember what I would do. So after class today, so sometime tonight, I would reopen all the old quizzes. So from chapter one to chapter eleven, everything will be open for this week only. Mm -hmm. And then for every quiz, you would have total five tries. Okay. Go back in there two more tries and get a hundred. <laughs> All right, uh, and also for for this week, for this week the discussion for this week, you know how to do a standard words. Oh, it has to be Oh, wish everybody had a That's a full What is it? You don't have to. If you want to, you can, but you don't have to. All right, guys. So that's it. Um, I will see. So next week we don't have a meeting. Uh, but after next, we'll have a meeting again. Okay. Is it possible to mute your dash cam? To what? To mute your dash cam if you submit the video so no one can hear what you're saying. Uh, Why don't you turn it off? Why do you want to turn it off? I mean, I'll be singing in the car. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> the next YouTube is a picture. Does anyone eat like seafood? Yeah, you know, so you oh, buy it just one time and then just, they're like, yeah, but I don't like it's free. Oh, no, no. So what it is, um, so for the dash cam, it's just like, just like a phone. Um, put a memory card in it, okay. and then um, so what it does, it will recycle through the memory card. So whenever it's full, it will delete what it was before. Okay, that's what I mean. And then I think there's someone if it feels like an impact, it will stop deleting the old data. So yeah, someone does it. So, what, uh, what but it's okay. Oh, so what, okay. what you do once you uh, like wrap it into accident, and plug a power cord. Yeah. That way, whatever you're having there is in there. Mm, yeah, it will, okay. it will get replaced. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, you should have it. Um, I missed. The discussion. Oh, so which one? Uh, the last one. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Email me. I'm And then um, on the first test, I'm still missing three points. Can I still email you about it? Email me about it. Okay. I just want that to see so the picture. Oh, I know. Oh. I just want to see the picture. So that's a seventh edition. Um, I think that's an eight. That's seventh. Okay. That's seventh. Oh. That's why it's so cheap. This is probably the newest one. This is the ace. But yeah, you don't need this one. Uh, just buy an uh, order. Like, so the seven is good, or even the six? Yeah, this is the six. Even the fifth. Okay. Don't buy from Amazon. No, no, no. I just yeah. want to see the picture. Half price. Half price. Yeah, I want. Thank you. Well. And you said about the quiz that when you could do it, what you said about that just let's send it to you. What one? Okay, so so for the quiz, uh, you know how every time you finish, they give you the answers? Yes. Right? So um, if you don't get a hundred, you do like uh, this open quiz. Show me the instances, go to the right end, submit it empty. Mm -hmm. If you get zero, okay. it'll show you all the right answers. Oh. Okay. And then do it again, you can see all the practice on it. Okay, but sometimes it changes. It does. You gotta do like two, three times, and then like maybe maybe try to do it right on the last try. Okay. If you want, I can Google it. Oh, you can do it, yeah. You can find an answer here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. Whatever you so, want. So do we need to send the grade or? It's all the Oh, you know, okay. Okay. So that's not going to come? They'll come to the final grade. Okay. So they'll help you on my average. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank all right, you. no problem. Bye.